Welcome to the stories of Judges. For those of you who don't know, it's in the early part of the Bible. Look, that's just a tiny little bit. We got Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges. Boom. Take that, Sunday school. So in Judges, there are a ton of stories about them taking over the land that they were supposed to take when they were instead just wandering in the desert. And they literally have to fight their way through. My dog. Ugh. So, um... First chapter of Judges is gold mine already. Fun stories in here. I already knew of some of them, but this one was literally so funny. I stopped and didn't even go to the one story I was going to do. I asked Quinn, should I do the tent stake or should I do, oh, I can't remember the other one. I asked him, I said, Quinn, which one are you said? He said, do the tent stake. And then I started to get in here and find it. And the first chapter, first story was better than the tent stake. So I went for it. So the Israelites, which is basically just God's people, are going to fight the Canaanites. Canaanites are bad people, okay? God is going to give all of the Canaanites' land to the Israelites. And they are freaked out, and they're like, what are we going to do? And God says, I got this. I'm going to give up the land into their hands. All right, the good news is God is always fighting for them. But watch this. It says, when Judah attacked, the Lord gave the Canaanites and the Perizzites, more people, weird names. I promise you, if you read this, you're going to be like, how does anybody make sense of this? Because it's a bunch of words that you've never seen before. Try Adonai Bezek. What does that mean? It's someone's name. Well, guess what? They found him. They found Adonai Bezek and they fought against him and the rest of the bad guys all ran away. Adonai Bezek ran away, but they chased him down and caught him. And are you ready for this? They cut off his thumbs and his big toe, toes. So both thumbs and both big toes and cut them off. The sound is not broken. God literally not only like allowed his people to cut someone's hands, like thumbs and toes off? He wrote it down in the Bible for us to read about later. What does it all mean? It means that God is a God of irony, because look at this. Then Adonai Bezek said, 70 kings with their thumbs and big toes cut off have picked up scraps under my table. Now God has paid me back for what I did to them. Adonai Bezek, I think cuts the thumbs and toes off of the people that he doesn't like and he has problems with. Like think about all the Game of Thronesy type shows that we watch and all these old Renaissance movies where the kings and they're fighting and they're having poison like Princess Bride and whatever. They're always trying to figure out how to manipulate one another and everything. This guy literally said 70 kings that he has basically had relationships with he's cut their thumbs and big toes off and made them pick up scraps under his table oh no god did not he wants to give you a message not you 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 us as humanity like adonai bezek was a loser jerk king and he was cutting people's thumbs and toes off and so guess what when it came time for his reckoning he got Chased down by God's people, they cut his toes and <laughs> they cut his toes and thumbs off, and that's exactly what he used to do. People, irony at its greatest. If you think God is not ironic, you are missing out on so much fun. <sighs> I love it when God's ironic. Okay, so I don't want to be confusing on why it's fun that God is ironic because fun. It's probably not the right word. So what I mean by this is that my brain is so excited that he's ironic because I can trust someone who's ironic. You want to know why? Okay, think about it. Somebody does you wrong. You hate them. It happens constantly. Everybody hates somebody. Even just the people on the road. Am I right, Josiah? So, somebody pisses you off on the road, and now you're mad at them? Well, guess what? God is not only trustworthy, regular, like, 
He's not going to just forget you. He's not going to leave you on the side of the road. He's going to come through and he's going to punish people in an ironic way. I mean, this is where the grace comes in because I'm certain God is not going to have someone stuck in traffic for all of eternity in hell <laughs> because they cut you off. But that's the kind of irony my brain goes to. Like, if Adonai Bezek cut someone's toes and thumbs off and then he ends up getting his toes and thumbs cut off, like, that's the kind of God I want on my team. Like, somebody who's going to show them. And now his vengeance and, like, his come through and his attention, like all of these different factors that show us who he is in this story of Adonai Bezek means that we can trust him in our regular life for the things that make us angry. Like, that's what I'm talking about.